Let's begin by talking about the process of doing work in abstract. This diagram represents the state of design processes in many organizations today. As a designer, this looks both familiar and painfully messy to me. My guess is that quite a few of these points likely resonate with you too. The thing is, design tools have focused mostly on how to do the drawing part of the design work, but workflows have been left up to teams to come up with. Designers are pretty adaptable and we've figured out ways to work around the constraints of our tools, but it doesn't always result in a very streamlined process. With Abstract, you see a streamlined approach that is powered by a Git-based workflow. While Git has helped the developer community collaborate as they've built products over the last 20 years, Abstract has introduced a similar workflow to designers. Compared to the typical method of manually duplicating files, renaming them with dates and arbitrary version numbers, everyone is working and collaborating with the same set of files toward a unified end goal. At the end of the day, the job of a designer is to help build and ship products, and we do this best through the use of thoughtful design processes. One of the most recognizable models of the design process is the double diamond model, which has been the industry standard for the past 15 years. The two diamonds represent the method of exploring many facets of an idea, which is called divergent thinking, and then taking focused action, which is convergent thinking. You usually start with a challenge, or maybe a hypothesis, which you can store in master as the initial concept. You can document the findings from the discovery phase and the decisions made during the problem definition phase within abstract projects. Then once you're ready to start exploring some design ideas, you can use branches and commits to store different iterations and converge toward a solution. Finally, you can merge your solutions designed in your branches back into the master to update the concept with the result you intend to deliver before beginning the cycle again. By adopting a branch commit merge workflow, Abstract provides a built-in process that maps nicely to the double diamond model. This is not a linear process, and as you know, it's always ongoing because no idea is ever really finished. We will dive deeper into each step of the abstract workflow in the upcoming videos. However, here's a brief overview of what you'll learn. Every project begins with a master branch. This contains the source of truth for your design work and can begin with newly created blank files or imported designs and documentation. The master persists throughout the lifespan of the project. You'll do work by creating branches. In this case, Darren creates a branch to start working on a new messages feature. Notice that his files reflect the master files at the beginning. Next, he'll create a new blank file to start working on the new feature. You can make commits when you want to create a snapshot of your progress, so he commits this new file to abstract. For the next couple of commits, Darren makes some changes to the homepage file and also tries out a few different layouts for the new messages feature. He'll commit each time that he reaches an iteration that he wants to keep track of. This process cycles until he reaches the design that is finalized and approved by the team. When his team is ready to ship this new feature, he will merge his branch back into master. Now the master files are updated with the latest work and everyone has access to see the updates. And that's the general abstract workflow, which we'll be learning more about in this video series. I hope you'll stick around.